All right, so greetings, everyone. Welcome to this Blab session for tonight. You know, this is the Create Lifestyle Freedom Movement, our mastermind, uh, the mentor trainers of First Biz Steps. And we wanted to do this mastermind um, session here tonight because those of you who are watching, and if you're watching the replay, you know, I want to make sure we, we I, I know we're going to resonate with somebody on this session tonight because we all, all four of us that you see on the panel right now, we're all in the network marketing industry, affiliate marketing industry. And, you know, there, there's been some growing pains, you know, in our network marketing career. And what I want to do real quick is I'm going to give a little bit, uh, a brief history about my story and why I partnered with this movement and how it helped me. And then I want to go around to all my panelists, have them chime in, chime in. And I'm pretty sure once you guys hear our story, you know, you're going to resonate with this message and understand, hey, you know, there's power in the mastermind and that there are people out there that want to help you succeed in your business. So again, my name is Zach Shaheed. I'm the owner of ZachShaheed.com, one of the mentor trainers of First Biz Steps. And guys, I have been around the network marketing industry and welcome Miss Travel Agent. Miss Travel Agent just joined the blab. Guys, I have been in the network marketing industry for a couple of years now, a good little while. And, you know, when I first got started, I was doing everything that I was told to do. You know, my upline told me, hey, Zach, you got to make a list of 100, 200 names. You got to have house parties every single week. You got to go out to the coffee stores, the bookstores, the malls, and you got to talk to people about your business. It's all about exposure. You got to get as many eyeballs in front of your business. Now, what I want anybody that's watching this recording to understand, from my perspective, I'm not telling you to stop doing those, th stop doing those things. What I'm saying is I got burnt out doing those things because if anybody is like me, I was working 40 to 50 hours a week on the job. You know, I, I came home. I still had husband obligations to take care of, still had household things to do. And you get burnt out, guys. And I felt like I was the hunter, meaning I was going out there with a sniper rifle, <laughs> like trying to figure out who I'm going to talk to about my business. And it burned, it burned me out. I don't know if it burns you guys out, anybody watching the replay, anybody on here live, but it burned me out. I'm like, it had to be a better way. Okay, I'm like, it got to be a better way to expose people to my business on a regular basis. So in 2014, I decided I wanted to use social media to attract people to me on my business because I, I, I was watching other marketers that I grew up with in the industry and they were taking off. I'm talking about making six, seven figures easy. And I started asking them what they were doing. They're like, Zach, we don't, we became the hunted, meaning they had people come to them asking about their company and they weren't necessarily going out always looking for people. So online marketing, I started in 2014 and I found uh, Mr. Mahdi here, who has been a great mentor. And he started teaching me a lot of online methods of attraction to attract people to my offer. And one thing I want anybody that's watching this blab to know is everybody on the screen you're looking at right now, some of us are in different businesses, but we formed this mastermind because we believe in the network marketing industry and we want to see people win. Like regardless of what company you're in, we want you to win. So when we started this mastermind. We said, hey, you know what? There has to be other people out there just like us who wanted to find a way to attract people to their offer without having to always go out and be the hunter. So I got started in 2014 with Mr. Mahdi. We started with a handful of people and it grew, it fell off, it grew. But then we came to our core group that you see here tonight, the people that stuck around and said, hey, you know what? I wanna build my online skills you know, to attract people to me. And that's how we formed the mastermind, first biz steps and you know, our our biggest push is that create lifestyle freedom movement because we are trying to create lifestyle freedom for people and their family so um, with that being said that's my story and why i got started with the mastermind because i was looking for online ways of people get people to be attracted to me and join my company without me being the hunter all the time so i would like to go around and kind of you know get everybody else's perspectives those on the panelists on you know the benefits of the mastermind and why you decided to join so Let's see, Calvin, come on, pop in. Hey, good afternoon, Zach. Can you hear me loud and clear? Loud and clear. Hey, guys, I'm just super excited about uh, this Create Lifestyle movement that uh, that we're partnering up and doing. 
Uh, I've been in network marketing since about 2001. Um, and I've always uh, been told uh, that online marketing, mastering online uh, knowledge was the best way to go, but I was always uh, trying to go around it. I felt at the time that it was too much work. And it wasn't until um, maybe, a, what, a month ago, it uh, really dawned on me again that, you know, there's no way around, you know, creating some online presence. And so, uh, you know, I reached out to use that, <clears throat> hey, what are you doing? I see you on Facebook. I see you posting. Uh, you know, I see your website and your blog. Hey, let me let me join in on that. And 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 I tell you guys, in a month, uh, I've made some significant significant <laughs> uh, leeway uh, catching up with you guys. And I've seen the difference in the audience and people getting a visual of of, of being able to know who I am personally because we know that people join people. They don't just join companies. So uh, I'm just very excited and appreciate uh, you guys for having me on the panel tonight. Hey, absolutely. Welcome, welcome. Like Kevin said, you know, again, guys, that's testimony where he said he saw my content online and he resonated with the message. So he said, let me reach out to Zach to figure out what Zach is doing. So, guys, that's what we're doing here. We're using our mastermind to create attraction marketing, have people get attracted to your offer. Naturally, they're going to come ask you. What are you doing? So with that being said, I see Miss Tansy. Tansy's on, the, on one of the panelists right now. So tell us a little bit about your experience with the mastermind and what you learned so far. Um, well, thank you for having me on. And I've, I've learned a lot. I'm a newbie. I'm, I know a little bit about Facebook. And so Calvin put me on to you guys. I've been seeing you, Zach, online. I was like, wow, you know, I really like what he's doing. That stuff just seems so far ahead. He must have went to school for something like that. So I was thinking like, well, what can I do? And then Calvin came to me and he was like, hey, you seen this guy, Zach? And I was like, yeah, I've been seeing him all over the place. He's like, we need to do what he's doing. <laughs> and I was like, well, he's got to be going to school or something. He was like, no, he's doing it right here online. I, I talked to him and we can go to the same, we can do the same thing. He can show us how to do it. So I'm like, okay sounds like a plan so you know i'm just coming along trying to catch up with you guys and and get smart and do everything you all are doing it's duplicatable so i'm trying to duplicate absolutely it. and that, that was one of the things we wanted to do when we created the mastermind is make it highly duplicate duplicatable because we understand that you know systems duplicate if you have a, a system in process a simple system in process that people can follow it will duplicate and that's one thing i appreciate Mr. Mahdi for developing is this simple system. And I'm gonna let him come up here next and just talk about what he has done as far as being a mentor and help training me to learn all this stuff. Cause Tan like Tansy said, guys, listen, people look at it and like, wow, like, does that go to school for this? No, I just joined First Bid Steps, <laughs> all right? I just joined the mastermind and I collaborate with like-minded individuals that have same with some of the same goals of freedom. That's where the Create Lifestyle mm -hmm. Freedom came from. And, you know, we have a great mentor, Mr. Mahdi, that has showed us a lot. So I want Mr. Mahdi to come on up and kind of give his experience about the industry and why he helped formulate this mastermind. Awesome. Greetings, everyone. And I'm excited to be here. It's an honor to be among such esteemed um, an esteemed group of folk, um, go-getters, action takers, people that are sincere. They have just a sincere desire to succeed for themselves and to help others succeed. And that's what this whole um, community is about. You know, the Create Lifestyle Freedom Movement is a global movement. Uh, it's a global community of people that have gathered together online with basically two core common interests. One, they want complete mastery over their finances, their, their weekly cash flow, their monthly income, and how they manage their financial affairs. And number two, they want complete mastery over their time so that they have uh, the ability to use their time for the things that are most important for them, right? And so um, with those two common core interests, although we come from a variety of different backgrounds, variety of different educational experiences, variety of different industries, uh, those two things allow us to work together because you know, we want to be free. <laughs> we want an elevated lifestyle and gathering other people that 
uh, that believe the same way that we believe and have the same either interests or goals that we have or um, us taking problems that we see in the marketplace and being able to effectively provide solutions for problems that we see that are in the marketplace so that a lot of people uh, get excited about those solutions and take advantage of the solutions that we're offering. So either or, either you're in the people gathering business or you're in the problem solving, you know, um, helping, helping uh, businesses to overcome challenges that they have either way. Um, and so, you know, that brings us to what do we do inside of the mastermind? You know, what is Create Lifestyle Freedom? What is the community all about? What's the mastermind all about? And uh, it's a learning experience. It's a learning experience, number one. And we're continually trying to refine, seeking to refine and elevate the learning experience. In other words, how a person who has a, a dream, an idea of what they want to do how they can take that idea and turn their idea into a message and make that message uh, available online in the way of content right readable watchable listenable content that other people can find right through a search so that they can find you and your idea your project they can partner with you or perhaps even become a customer of yours if you have something that you're offering for sale. So um, the mastermind, which is you know, what we'll be spending the majority of this hour speaking about, um, is just that. It's an online idea incubator. It's a think tank where great people come together. They take the little bit of uh, know-how that they have and all of the energy that they have and they put the know-how and the energy together to uh, help everybody grow. So um, that's the big, that's the broad stroke of, of what we do in, um, in the first Biz Steps Mastermind. So absolutely search for that if you're on Facebook or you're on Google, first Biz, B-I-Z Steps, first Biz Steps. And we may provide a link for you here in, in just a minute. So welcome, uh, who is that? A, is that, I'm sorry, that is Ahmed. Welcome, yeah, Ahmed. Welcome, welcome, Ahmed. <laughs> welcome, so, welcome, um, welcome. yeah, and this is what I want to do. So we have a couple of guests on now. And what I want to know for everybody that's on, even on the panel, if you guys are in, if you, well, if you have a business, if you have a business or you're in network marketing or affiliate marketing, type a one in the comment stream for me. If you have a business, if you're in network marketing or if you're in affiliate marketing, type a one. OK, OK, I see a couple of couple of ones in there. So. The one of the biggest thing, guys, the reason why I asked that question, is because when I got started in the mastermind again, one of the biggest pains I had was getting leads for my business. OK, uh, we all know in the network marketing industry, you know, we always hear, you know, talk to people about your business. You know, you got to build your list up. But the biggest pain point that I see for most network marketers is they don't know who to talk to, especially when they run out of their warm market. And we all know our warm market is our family and friends. And when we initially get started in network marketing, you know, we are told to go talk to all of our family and friends. But what happens is, and I want you guys to be honest with me, if you guys are just like me, <laughs> okay, most of my family and friends remembered me before I had a business. So what that means is, they remember all the parties I went to, all the stupid stuff I did. They remember my job I was just at last week. So now when I come to them and say, hey, I have a business, I want you to check it out. I have a side project, I want you to check it out. They're looking at me like, what? Just last week, you didn't have no business? What you involved in that? <laughs> so for me, I had I had a decent warm market and I've always sponsored some people from my warm market. But the question for most, most, most network markets I see is what happens after the warm market? especially if you're somebody that's not good at cold calling, going out, talking to people, you know, it can be a little bit frustrating. So in this mastermind, building my online skill sets, people call me now. Like I, I, I promise you guys, I have people every single day reach out to me saying, Zach, what do you do? And now I am the hunter. Okay, I'm the hunted. 
people come to me. I'm no longer the hunter all the time. So that's the biggest thing I love about the skills we learn in this mastermind is that it teaches people, regardless if you're a, a traditional business, affiliate marketing or network marketing, it teaches people how to get to your offer. It has people come bang down your door to find out more about what you're doing. Calvin, am I right about that? <clears throat> Sorry, I have myself on mute, but you're absolutely right about that, Zach. You know, um, a lot of times as network marketers, uh, we're told to do one thing. Uh, we're told to, like you said earlier, make a list, uh, start to talk to our warm market, our family and friends. However, uh, a professional network marketer would tell you that you need to go out and create your own leads and go out into the cold market. And so one of the things that I'm really excited about here, what we're doing, what we're collaborating and what we're doing is we are taking that 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 message and saying, hey, we're going to give you the tools and the skills uh, to be able to go out there and to generate your own leads. You're going to have people knocking down your door wanting to know what exactly you're doing, how you're doing it, and how can I get started. So I'm super excited. So I'll turn it back over to you, sir. Hey, good stuff. And guys, listen, we're not talking about buying leads either. Listen, I did all that stupid. Look, guys, I did anything you guys could imagine. I did. I was that guy. OK, listen, I was at the bookstores, the coffee stores, the malls stalking you. I was buying leads. I was doing all of that crazy junk, trying to get people in front of my company's presentation. And guess what, guys? It didn't work. All it did was frustrate the heck out of me. <laughs> OK, so guys, when I found this mastermind, this Create Lifestyle Freedom Movement, and I first bid that mastermind, guys, it was a wake up call for me because everything that I saw the big heavy hitters doing, now I was learning how to do. Now, guys, I want you guys to really pay close attention to the industry because anybody you see making six, seven figures right now, guess what? They all are marketing their business online. They have some type mm -hmm. of blog they're using. They're doing paid advertisement on Facebook and Instagram. And guess what, guys? They're sponsoring people because they're using a technique called attraction marketing, which we teach you guys in the mastermind, guys. So if you're not using attraction marketing, and all you're doing is the old school ways of getting people to your business, you're missing out. I mean, I want you guys to really go look at this. Go go look in your Facebook now or after the blab of people who you follow as making big money in network marketing and tell me if they do not have a blog. They all have a blog. OK, they all have a mastermind like this where they can come collaborate and share ideas. OK, they're all uh, they're marketing themselves online, guys. So you got to get your skill set up to where now people are chasing you down. So Mahdi says, so how does someone in a people business find more of the right people? Well, guys, one thing, again, we teach you in the first Biz Steps Mastermind because you can get highly targeted with the people that you're looking for on social media. Like myself, personally, I personalize in um, Facebook. You know, now I know there's a lot of other people that do Instagram and Twitter, but I specialize in Facebook. And you can get highly targeted with your audience on the people that you want to expose your business to. And what you do is, guys, I, I have a key word, and Matthew knows my word. You give value. Value, 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 value. Okay, one thing I cannot stand, guys. <laughs> okay, anybody who's in this mastermind knows. One thing I cannot stand is when I go on somebody's Facebook page and all I see is your company's link. If all I see is you say, join my company, XYZ company, whatever company it is, join my company, click on this link. Guys, listen to me very clearly nobody's going to do it <laughs> okay they're not going to do it they're going to say you're spamming them they're going to block you they're going to unfollow you so guys in this mastermind we teach you how to create original content mm -hmm. where you're giving value so say for mm -hmm. instance you're somebody that has a travel business we teach you we say hey okay if you want to attract people to you that are like-minded that want to know about travel how about you make a blog post every single day about travel how about you create a facebook note about travel mm -hmm. That way you're giving them value and they're like, hmm, right. what, what is that? What is Calvin? What are, what are they talking about about travel? Let me go find out. They go read your blog post. Now they mm -hmm. want to know more. You're attracting them to you. And I see Matthew's brains going. So go ahead, Matthew. And, <laughs> and, um, great point. I just wanted to elaborate elaborate a little bit on this term that, that Zach uses so frequently and it's called its value. And you've heard that term before, but let's expand on that exactly what does that mean uh, another way of of um expressing what value means and how you can be someone that gives value is information 
it's education. How do you educate people about the project that you're engaged in, right? Uh, about the industry that you're engaged in. So for example, if you are, um, if you are somebody that plays tennis and you um, have a passion for it, you really want people to, um, you really want to attract other people to the network that you have of tennis players, then obviously one of the things you would want to do is start, is have a way of amplifying your voice and getting your message about your love for tennis out there. So Zach mentioned that a tool that you can use to amplify your voice and leverage your time at this, you know, all at the same time is a blog. So if you have a blog, if you take ownership of a blog, it allows you to use a multimedia, a rich media platform to develop uh, obviously stories, you know, your own written stories, but you can also do video. You can do podcasts. You can import stories from other people. You can import audio. You can import video. You can put all of these things uh, on your blog medium and then have people that are that are that you want to know about um, about tennis and your passion for it as you post um, your blog online on the search engines of Google on Facebook social search platform uh, in other places, then you're going to you're going to have people that are that are just talking to each other about tennis. They're going to start noticing your content. And so it's this whole thing of taking something that you're excited about and finding lots of ways to share your excitement. A blog is is just one of them. Obviously, you know, the next thing that we just mentioned was social media. That's another. So the question becomes, how do you um, if you're in a business, you know, if you're in a business, let's just turn the page. How do you take a business, something that is bringing you income and get greater exposure for that thing that's bringing you income? Same way. Same way. If it's if it's something that's earning for you and you're excited about it, then you need to become one of the leading proponents for for that. So, for example, let's just say it's weight. Let's just say it's uh, health and wellness. And and the niche that you happen to be in is weight loss. And you have a product that would just be great for Aunt Sally and Uncle Bob. Right. But instead of going in <laughs> and banging Aunt Sally and Uncle Bob over the head with it, what you want to do is reach a larger audience. So start speaking about um, what, you know, the things that cause weight gain. If your issue is weight loss, right, and your solution is weight loss, then, so let me turn it around. If the, if the issue is weight gain and your solution is weight loss, start talking about the problem. You be the one that addresses the problem, right? The one who is addressing the problem is automatically seen as a leader towards the solution, right? Whoever's addressing the problem. So let's take another thing. Let's just say that your um, that the issue is cash flow. Man, if if only had enough, if only had a little bit more cash flow, I'd be able to do this. I'd be able to take the family on more trips. I'd be able to uh, make sure that my my son daughter didn't have any issues with with college tuition. Um, man, I could do this. I could I could put more money into the business. I could build up my my marketing budget and really get people. So if the issue is cash flow, then you have to be the one that's addressing cash flow issues so that as people hear your voice, they say, they're going to say, hey, you know what? I was thinking the same thing. You want people saying, hey, you know what? I was thinking the same thing about whatever it is. If you're a skateboarder. And you've got a kickflip technique that nobody has ever seen yet, right? You want to be the one that's that's giving the little cues about how to do X, Y, Z, so that you become the solution for the person that's trying to figure it out. Does that make sense? Absolutely. You're you're becoming the term is an yeah. authority figure. So guys, we we teach you in the mastermind right. how to become an authority figure. For, so for those of you who just joined again, welcome to the the, the Blab session, we're talking about our mastermind, first bid steps, and our movement, Create Lifestyle Freedom, and how we help business owners, you know, scale up their business, get more exposure to whatever their offer is. So, guys, we teach you how to become an authority figure in the mastermind. So, 
I know there's a term where there's a saying mm -hmm. in the network marketing industry that people love to throw out there and they say, well, I want to see how documented you are first. <laughs> OK, so here's what I always tell. I always play around with people. Right. I say, OK, mm -hmm. you want to see how documented I am. Go Google my name right now. Go Google Zach Shahid and tell me what comes up. <laughs> OK, because, guys, you will see when you Google my name, how we help people in this mastermind become an authority figure in your niche, mm -hmm. because what's happening is, guys, we are helping you build your skill set of branding yourself. So and I want to ask my panelists this after I finish this up. Tell me if this guy, <clears throat> if this has ever happened to anybody that's watching the blab right now. You're in a network marketing company. The company is going great. And for some reason, either people start leaving or the company goes away. But all you ever did was brand that company. Has that ever happened to anybody on the panel? OK, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I think it's real fun. Funny that you brought that up because, you know, all the time we're so focused uh, and I say we because I've done it, too. We're so focused on going out there and branding these companies that we're uh, partnered with when in actuality they're already branded. <laughs> so, you know, the things that the things that you're going to uh, learn here in this mastermind is you're going to learn how to brand yourself. So when you go and go into another company or that company shuts down, then it doesn't affect you at all because people know you, for instance, people know Calvin Buford. They may not know uh, uh, Johnson and Johnson products, but they know Calvin Buford. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. Tansy, got any feedback on that? Um, I'm, I've been in network marketing for about a year and I've seen these, um, I've seen these practices done when I first got involved with, with network marketing, I was kind of reluctant to tell people that I was in it because it has such, you know, the pyramid scheme and all of that other stuff. So I was still kind of learning, but I did see the vision. Um, but I think um, I started promoting their brand and someone put a bug in my ear saying the same thing, you know, you know, you need to promote yourself, promote your business. And so I started doing that and I see the benefit of promoting myself. And I, I see it even more so now that I've become more mature in it, but I do see the benefit in it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because that, awesome. that branding, awesome. here's what I want you guys to know. And again, we teach this inside of our mastermind. Our mastermind is a four week boot camp okay it's a boot camp where we teach you online skills on how to attract people to your offer regardless of what offer you have again guys if you're watching this blab all of us on this blab tonight we're in different companies okay we're not in the same except for me and tansy we're in, we're, we're, we're in different companies but it doesn't matter I, I want you guys to get out your head it doesn't matter what company you're in when you brand yourself if people like you if they know you and they trust you they will do business with you so regardless of what company you're in, if you if you built up enough, enough like, know and trust, people will join you and they will buy your product and service. So we teach you the importance in this mastermind mm -hmm. in this four week boot camp, how to brand yourself and how to get more people um, to your exposure. And I definitely want to invite Carly on back on to take a seat if he can come on in, give some of his input. Another one of our mentor trainers. And I see oh, Matthew, his brain. Zach, I like to. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to just kick in um, a little bit more. So as Zach has just said, you know, it really um, has nothing to do with what industry you're in. Uh, everyone here, for the most part, is in a different industry where, you know, have different companies, different interests. And you don't even have, what we're teaching is really online methods for attracting and inviting to your project or your business offer. So you don't even have to have a business. It could be a project um, and it could be, you know, some monumental project that you're working on. Um, it, it may be even family related. It could be a family related project. What we're after is teaching you online methods to attract more people to the thing that you're interested in or to a goal that you are, are headed to. And we're in the age when the 21st century where we have technology tools that allow us to mastermind and collaborate across continents at the speed of now. So um, the, the idea of first biz steps is to take people that have um, great projects, they have great ideas, 
they have existing companies or maybe no companies at all and take each one of those people wherever they are and help them elevate, help them get to the next level. And what do I mean by the next level? The next level of exposure. How do we take you from where you are and the methods that you're using now to gain exposure for your project or your business offer and scale that up so that you so that you can quantitatively see that you're getting more people that are responding to your message online. So again, it goes back to how do you develop the message online? What are the what are the tools that you're using to develop your message online? Um, what are the tools that you're using? So so when we talk about developing the message, we're talking about creating your own original content. Do you have a blog as a tool that serves as your own permanent piece of Internet real estate that you can write about whatever you want to write about and then draw people to that to that um, that that house that you have that you've built online? Do you have. Um, a Facebook fan page? And do you know how to use a Facebook fan page to increase engagement for the thing that you're interested in? Do you use Facebook events as a tool for not only announcing what your events are, but as also a tool for messaging uh, up to 5,000 people simultaneously with one click of the mouse? Do you know? Did you know that that was possible, right? Um, are you using web-based pages? Are you creating your own uh, landing pages to announce your project, to announce your business, to set pages in place where people can come and uh, see just snippets of what your offering is? Not necessarily your blog, but just standalone pages that are out there on in the, uh, the digital landscape that are working for you 24 hours a day um, and you're directing by, uh, by paid advertising, you're directing people who have an interest that you've already targeted, you're directing those people to your pages, right? Are you using capture pages? Those people that may come to your page and may have an interest, how do you collect them? How do you grab them? How do you uh, draw them even closer to you and then continue the conversation, which gets us into email autoresponders. So we're, we're talking about tools and systems and strategies when we, we were speaking about the mastermind that help you increase your exposure, right? Develop your, bl your brand, your know, like, and trust with people that really don't know you right now. And then uh, also, um, Co uh, draw people nearer to you so that you can continue that conversation, build up a relationship, and then have them uh, partner with you or become a, a, a customer. Oh, that's just, just good feedback. That. And um, I see Carly on. Carly on, you still there? I think it's yeah. it's on he's, his he's, end. I think he's having, he's having some, some, some technical <laughs> difficulties, fading in and out. All right, no problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, just wanted to share with you, those of you who are in the audience, if you have a question that you'd like to ask any of us on the panel, you can simply go to the live chat and type in Q and then the uh, forward slash. I think, let me go yeah, check. Forward, Q, forward, forward slash, slash Q. Wait a minute. Forward slash Q. If you go to the chat and, sl and type in forward slash Q, that will allow you to... to ask any question you want. It'll pop in over the left side of your screen where it says questions, and we'll be able to have this live interaction. And, you know, one of us can certainly pop off if you, you want to come in live and be a part of this session. Uh, you can come in live and ask Zach or Carly Owen or, or uh, Ms. Tansy any of the questions that you have regarding um, creating lifestyle freedom, how you do that, what the mastermind is about, how you get involved in the mastermind. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to okay, pop awesome. off for a minute. I'll so Carly right on, man, welcome on. This is one of my mentor trainers in the first big steps. Uh, so Carly on, tell everybody, man, you know, what you have learned from this mastermind so far and what was your biggest struggle before you joined the mastermind? My biggest struggle was not presenting myself at first and just everything that I found on how to make some type of income online 
I was just bombarding people with those products, with those links and wasn't building a relationship with people. So sometimes I would make money off of it. Sometimes I wouldn't. But if if you don't, that's with, with anything, though, if you don't find a way to properly interact with the people who you are trying to present these products to, you're not going to be successful in it. And where a lot of people fail, me personally, I fail is, like I said, consistently just presenting those products and not trying to build a relationship with these people who I was presenting these products to. Like I would literally get messages from people who ask me about the product and I'd just be like, man, look, it works. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Before I, I, I dug myself into this, this, this great hole called the mastermind, man, I, I, I was lost, man. I was, I was still wandering around in that desert, just thinking that, yo, I, this product, I know people are going to want this product. So why should I have to tell you why it's good? Look at the product. Go to the website that the product is presenting you. That that's that, and I had to adapt to breaking myself away from that. Once I got into the mastermind, it, everything was just like clarification. I came up out of that 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 mist of 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 phantom of the product is going to sell itself. No, that it, that doesn't work unless you in direct sales. If and in certain cases, in direct sales, if you're doing it online too, also I always say this: people to uh, who do direct sales online, if you're doing it online, people still have to build a relationship with you before they even think about buying those products because there's so many people promising people's products and not pitting forward on the products after they didn't pumped it up, and the product come out to be kaput. So you you have to know how to build relationships with people aside of just trying to pressure them to buy what you have to offer and the benefit in that is they might come back and buy other things from you because you have a relationship with them now aside from you just presenting them this one product and you probably never hear from them again it, it is it's all on building relationships man absolutely relationships. carly on you you made a great point about building relationships so let me let me present this question to you and mahdi and we want to welcome um ryan to um to the blab session tonight ryan we're talking about our our mastermind we have on Facebook called First Biz Steps, where we teach business owners how to attract people, you know, to their offers using online methods of attraction. So um, let me ask you guys this. Carlyon said relationships, right? And I know in the network marketing industry, a lot of the old school feel like you can't build your business online because you're not building relationships. And we know from being in this mastermind, that's not the case. So what have you guys learned about building relationships online and how do you actually do that? I, th I think Matt, do you want, you want to take that on first? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Hold on. Let me back out of something. Okay. Uh, so how was do you question build, again? I'm sorry. I was, how do you build relationships online? Sure. You know, when, when you're trying to build your business, cause a lot of, mm -hmm. especially if you're network marketing, you know, our, our upline tells us, Hey, you can't build relationships online, which we know that's not true from the thing we learned as mastermind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, there are a number of ways to do that. And everything has to do, everything has, you know, is, is really according to how much time you have. So the average person, the average person only has maybe two hours on any given night. When you look at the, the number of hours they work at the job, the family obligations, once they, once they get home from the job and just personal time, they really only have maybe two to three hours that they can uh, forge new relationships and make some kind of progress uh, with their project or their business. So what are the ways to do that? Um, one of the best ways to do that is exactly what we're talking about right now, to um, find on Facebook or find on Google Plus, either one of those, both of those, or LinkedIn, all three of those social media platforms have communities. It's great to go and do a search for um, for titles of communities that you have an interest in. So whenever you're interested in, you would you go to the, your favorite platform, whether it's Google Plus and the communities there or LinkedIn or Facebook, and do a search for the, the titles that you're interested in and see if there are um, groups or, um, or masterminds. And if so, jump in and then get involved, be an active participant. When you get into a mastermind, 
don't be a wallflower. You know, don't be a spectator. Get in, make um, make yourself, you know, make acquaintances with some of the other people that are there. Share what it is that you've come to the group for and what you're hoping to get out of it. And within the group, there will be other people. There'll be some people that are um, that are equally motivated as you are. You'll you'll begin to um, build up your you know, your your relationships with folks that have the same energy and that leads to greater things. Now, if you're building a business, then uh, Facebook, for example, gives you tools um, that you can use uh, to attract an audience. Facebook has a, 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 an, an amazing tool that's available to you if you just take the effort to come into our mastermind, learn how to develop a Facebook page and and um, if you don't already have one, learn how to develop a Facebook page and then we'll show you how to get back and look at audience insights and how to even look at ways to develop a custom audience uh, for the exact kind of folk that you would like to have partner with you in your project or be customers of yours in your business. D down to the detailed demograph demographics of what countries they're in, what age they are, what their um, interests are, right? Um, how much income they might have. Um, if education is a factor, you can put that in. Uh, other pages that they may have already, um, that they already may be, uh, uh, they may already have liked. So you might have people that are in your that are in your target audience, and they're already following certain individuals. Or they're already following certain products, uh, certain companies on Facebook and Facebook records, you know, when they're when they are a follower of a public figure or they're a follower of a branded company. Facebook records that. So you can go right into Facebook and find the people that have already liked uh, companies that are set up like your company or have some of the same or similar offerings as your company and they make for um, you know those that's an immediate prospect oh yeah that, that, I hope that helps. helps that definitely helps and um i, I wanted to bring that question out because again like most people think you can't build relationships online but again going back to developing your original content and giving value guys when you develop content as far as like videos people get to know you from the videos you make too so when they start liking your stuff, commenting on your stuff, and you, you know you get a you, you message them back and forth, you build a relationship. So you can build a relationship online. It may take mm -hmm. a, a little bit more effort to to build that relationship, but guess what? The relationship can be built. Um, so what I want to do is invite. Go ahead. One other thing. One other thing, Zach. You know, while we're talking about uh, building relationships and attraction, one of the greatest ways that you can build attraction. Um, and it'll take it'll take a little elbow work. It'll take a little effort is to, again, uh, be the one who is uh, delivering a message that's addressing an issue. And how do we do that? Do that by video. And so I said it'll take a little effort. So it means that you may have to overcome some shyness you have towards getting in front of a lens. But it's just a lens. It's just your phone. <laughs> you know, it's just talking to your phone. Right. I, how much shyness can you have talking to your phone? It's just the computer webcam, right? So nothing to get up, uptight about. So get comfortable using the tools that you have and start developing videos, original content. Make your own videos that address things that are important to you that you believe the marketplace also feels uh, is important. And then start finding groups on Facebook that you can begin publishing your videos in. What you'll find is that the majority of places that you go to publish your videos, everybody else is just plugging a link in. They're just putting a link for some company, right? But when you come, when, when a person comes to your post, they're gonna, you know, Facebook has it now so that when a person comes to a post, the video automatic, automatically begins to play. It's autoplay. So, you know, a person comes to your post and your video auto plays and now they ha they're immediately engaged with you and whatever your message is. And you can refine over time how well you deliver 
you know, on online in a video. You can do, you can refine that. And the, the whole thing is that we're talking about attraction. And one of the best ways, again, on social media for attraction is video. So get in, get comfortable with these. Right. Get in front of your laptop or your camera. Talk about something that you absolutely are passionate about. Make it short, no more than five minutes, three to five minutes, you know, the max, and then start pushing that content out. You'd be surprised at how much reception you get when you absolutely when you put your absolutely. message out. Good, good feedback, Matt D. And what I want to do now is I want to since we have four of the trainers on for our mastermind, I want to go around and have each trainer talk about the four week boot camp and what we take a new person through in the boot the boot camp so you guys kind of know the online skills you were going to build to help promote your business and again guys it doesn't matter what company regardless of what company you're in this mastermind is going to help you build your business so um so on week one i'll take week one if you join us in this mastermind again the mastermind is called first bid steps it's a completely um free mastermind you don't have to pay anything to get in the mastermind but we are here to help you succeed so in week number one we do um, Facebook event pages. So we, we help you create a Facebook event and we show you how to use a Facebook event as a one click uh, informational um, type deal. So for instance, if you invite 500 people to your Facebook event and whenever you make a post into that Facebook event, everyone you invited gets a notification saying, hey, Zach posted, go check it out. So you can message all those people at one time about your offer. So if you're doing an event for one of your travel parties, one of your home, whatever company you're with, whatever product or service you're offering, if you put a Facebook event page around it and you invite enough people, now you can message those people at one time and everybody gets that message at one time. So you don't have to single handedly go and message everybody individually. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things we go over in, in mm -hmm. week number one is how to create that and the benefits of having a Facebook event page. And I'll let Carly on come on and talk about week two. Mm -hmm. Well, before you even go, uh, we don't we don't want to miss anything. In week one, you immediately learn how That's to right. develop That's your right. own original content right off the bat in the first week. So one of the ways that we do that is by um, training you to um, find high quality images and let your <laughs> let your eye uh, get used to searching on Google images and pulling down images that are important to your project, right? And if you don't have a current project, if you're just getting started online, um, then we give you some suggestions uh, for topics that you can go and do a, a keyword search on to see the images that pop up regarding that topic, and then pull down images. But the whole idea is to start training your eye uh, to grab stunning images and to make those images uh, a part of your original content. Learn how to use images to tell your story. So we do that in week one. Oh, by the way, Zach mentioned um, the Facebook event, and he also mentioned that it's a way for one-click messaging. We can't give away all the goods here, but uh, one of the things that we do want to share with you is that um, with regards to the Facebook event, I, I don't want you all to just think that the Facebook event is some is a tool that you use to invite people to either a public, um, I'm sorry, either a um, an online or an offline event. It's also a messaging tool. So um, Zach just said that you can use it for one click messaging, but you can use it to tell a story. So if you have relationships on Facebook and you just want to talk to your relationships all at one time and leverage your time. The best way to do that is to build an event and you can use any t subject as a title to the event. But as you invite people to this event page, you just start talking about them, uh, stalking, start talking to them every day about the things that are important to you. And you'll be able to message a whole lot of people all at the same time because of, of that one tool. We, can't go into too much detail because that's covered in the mastermind, but just wanted to give you an idea of how you can use tools and systems to leverage your time and be more effective in delivering, uh, hey, in delivering your message. Good feedback, man. Leverage is key. Leveraging our time. So 
Carleon, give him a brief overview about week two of the Mastermind. Man, my favorite week, my favorite week. I'm just going to tell you, I'll see me rubbing my hands together. It's all about content. Christina, man. It's all about how to not just find the right content, but taking that content and learning how to make it yours and putting your message into that content and resonating it out to the right audience. It's all about content, proper placement of content, um, proper coloration of content, and the different ways that you can recreate your own content, man. There's so many different free platforms out there. Me personally, I don't, I, I, I got caught up in the fat of my products, but there's so many different free products out here that you can use to create your own content. You would be surprised. We, we, we introduce you to all of these free ways until you can get your money up to get those products that the people who are in hierarchies are using, the, the yeah. professional graphic designers are using, the professional web designers are using. But we mm -hmm. help you build from the ground up with understanding the importance of content, man. Like Zach has been saying with value, everything that he presents in value is in content. Everything that you're going to present to people mm -hmm. to draw them in to build a relationship, which is like no trust relationship, is through your content. Man. Week two is all about content. Mm -hmm. And banners, which is content, mm -hmm. and the proper sizing right. of your images when you're trying to post these images to Facebook. That's what cool. We also speak about uh, the importance of ad copy and headlines and how language technology, you want to mark that word, language technology is uh, extremely important in reaching your audience. You know, you've got to speak the, the language of your audience in whatever industry it is. And so um, we study people who are masters at ad copy study, people who are masters at developing uh, eye-catching and attractive headlines uh, for the image and banner posts that we make, for the uh, landing pages and the custom capture pages that we post. But before we get to landing pages and capture pages, we start in week two with banners and learning how to develop a um, a stunning, how to uh, make a great banner by a stunning image, you know, a great headline and descriptive ad copy. So learning ad copy and headlines is important in delivering your message online. So if you've been in a whatever business you've been in and nobody's taken the time, any of your superiors, your mentors, your inviters have not taken the time to teach you these fundamentals, then here is a mastermind that you can uh, get into with a four week boot camp that's going to take you step by step through one level to the next level to the next level of elevation in core Absolutely. online Absolutely. marketing so, skills. So uh, you Calvin, have the confidence we're talking a little to reach about, uh, week a three audience. in my preview. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. You know, I keep my microphone on mute just because I have a lot of noise going on. But week three, <clears throat> we're talking, we're focusing on pages and the science of online marketing. Um, what we're doing here is we're teaching you how to use uh, a blog that's already built inside of Facebook called Facebook Notes. We're going to teach you the power of that. We're going to teach you how to go out there and produce your own content that you learned uh, from week one and two. Now we're going to put all those things in week three and show you how to basically come out of your shell and let the world know that you're here and that you're an authority on the things that you're talking about. We're also going to do a 10 week video challenge, you know, where you are going to be doing uh, some videos on some specific topics that will be given to you. Um, and this is going to give you a chance to expose yourself on camera. Uh, you know, because we know there's a lot of people are a little nervous when they get on cam, but this is an opportunity for you to defeat that. You know, you're going to be able to do this video challenge. And after that 10 week video challenge, then you'll be a pro like Zach, mm -hmm. like Carly on, like Muhammad, like myself. Uh, and you'll be able to do the things that we're doing as well. So that's a recap of, of week three. Awesome. Awesome. So for some phenomenal learning yeah. and tools, uh, we teach you guys mm -hmm. about here and you know all the weeks and then in week four guys we tie it all in together so we show you how to how you can take ownership of a, of a 
a blog and then put all that stuff together, guys. So again, like we said earlier, everybody who's successful in the industry, they create original content. They have their own blog. Okay, they have their own Facebook page. They're creating Facebook event pages and they're tying all of this stuff in together that we're gonna to talk to you guys about in week one mm -hmm. through four. So we invite you you know, to come join the mastermind if you're looking to build your online skill set mm -hmm. and attract people to your offer. So like we said earlier, you're not feeling like you're always the one hunting people down to join your business. You will have people banging down your door to join your business based off the content you put out, you know, and the things that they're seeing from you on a regular basis. So uh, with that, I'm, I'm gonna go around and let all of my mentors say, you know, a final note to tie it all back in and then we'll let everybody go. So Matthew, go ahead and start it off. Okay. Awesome. Uh, just wanted to let you all know that we as a community will be doing this blab session on a weekly basis. We hadn't determined what day yet, hadn't determined what time yet, uh, but you can look for the uh the the keyword phrase create lifestyle freedom so if you want to do a search hashtag create lifestyle freedom uh on twitter or even on blab uh you'll be able to see uh, the upcoming sessions that we're going to be having here um second thing is zach just talked about the mastermind and we've just spent an hour discussing this four week boot camp that's a part of the mastermind and the mastermind is ongoing it's it's for the beginners, a four week boot camp. But then there's an advanced session that we call Spark Pro Users and My Online Marketing Success. That's an extension of the four week boot camp that goes on, um, you know, on a continual basis where we are um, putting evergreen content in front of our users. What do I mean by evergreen content? Brand new strategies, brand new tools and systems. Um, brand new ways of delivering um, your idea to an ever larger audience. So um, that that happens after the four week boot camp. So this is not just just one thing. It's a community. Create Lifestyle Freedom is just that. You know, we are here locked arms to help each other create lifestyle Carly freedom. So tell them, man, and so with that, I'll give it to my next camp, mentor. Man, get involved with first business. Probably on my sound went out. <laughs> oh yeah, man, my sound keep going in and out, man. I keep having technical difficulties. Driving me nuts. <laughs> That's why I refresh so many times. Uh, uh, no, on my be. last words though, uh, if you look at anybody who's been working in network marketing for a while, if you go anywhere and search these people and and try to see what made them so successful, for the simple fact that they learn how to brand themselves first and get people to understand their purpose the why they're doing it and I, I this is my next blog too is what when and why they knew what they were trying to get done when they wanted it done and why they were doing it once they got those three conclusions together they figured out that the only way for me to get people to understand my what when and why is for me to get people to know me like i was just watching the video that mighty posted like three months ago again just for a refresher the lady who um does burberry she resonated on story even with her branding another business she resonated their brand off of their story their history when you get let people know you your history and why you doing these things what's your purpose of getting out here and letting people know who you are and why you do what you do you build awesome relationships with people and show people how you made yourself so successful in everything that you do man. Mm -hmm. and that's it bro. oh man awesome that's good stuff man <laughs> calvin what you got to close them out man well hey you know it's been so fun and been a pleasure to be up here on a panel with such great-minded people like you guys uh, i'm definitely definitely truly blessed to to be partnered with you guys uh, one of the things that I want to kind of get across to everyone that's watching, you know, sometimes, you know, we think that we're great at things and we already have the skills and the tools uh, to be successful. But, you know, sometimes you have to understand that there's things that you still may not know. 
So that's why we encourage people to join this mastermind with us because you have a group of heads that are collaborating on a daily basis, uh, helping each other grow each other uh, every single day. I know that <clears throat> I know that if it hadn't have been for Zach, I wouldn't be where I was. If it hadn't have been for Muhammad, I wouldn't have been where I was. If it hadn't have been for Carleone, I wouldn't be where where I was. So you know, please, please get the mind frame that I know it all and get with a group of people and to, together collectively uh we can make you know it all <laughs> so we turn it back over to you Zach. hey man phenomenal panelists tonight you know and a lot of great content mm -hmm. and feedback around first mm -hmm. big steps our mastermind why they should join guys it's a community right you have a community of people that is totally invested in you succeeding in your business because again mm -hmm. all of the panelists up here tonight we're in different primary businesses but we mastermind together on a regular basis so we all succeed. So guys, that's what you're going to get from this community. It is it's a huge community and you're going to get that that mastermind collaboration guys mm -hmm. and we're going to talk to you about developing original content, branding yourself mm -hmm. and how to get your message, you know, out to the marketplace. Just like uh Dream Trips that he said, she said it's a tribe. Yeah, it's a tribe. You got to build your tribe. <laughs> yes. You have yeah, to build your tribe. guys and, if you look again, if you look at any marketer, anybody successful in business, they all have a tribe of people they keep around them. Okay, they all mastermind and collaborate. So why not you? If you don't have a tribe right now and you're doing it by yourself, you know, we invite you to come join First Biz Steps. You know, let's join the movement to create lifestyle freedom because that's right. at the end of the day what it's all about developing freedom for your family, like we're trying to do for our family, guys. So we invite you to the mastermind. We posted the link for first bid steps a couple of times in the comment stream. I'll do it one more time just for anybody who needs to see it one more time. So we invite you to come join a mastermind tonight. Come join a, the, the four week boot camp, build your online skills. And like Matthew said, be on the lookout. We're going to do this every single week until, you know, we reach the masses of people that want to build their business. <laughs> so, hey, exactly. we appreciate everybody coming on and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> See you later. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks a lot.